We're just about to move on to protectionism and why countries may have somewhat legitimate arguments to restrict trade. But first, in order to access the benefits of trade, we need to be familiar on how to derive the terms of trade, or TOT. Now, in general, the terms of trade is given by the export price index over the import price index. The terms of trade measures the rate of exchange of one good of service for another when two countries engage in trade. For international trade to be mutually beneficial, the terms of trade must lie within the opportunity cost ratios of both countries. If Japan's opportunity cost of making microscopes is 0.5 shoes, and Vietnam's cost is two shoes, a term of trade of, for example, one microscope for one shoe, for instance, will be beneficial to both countries as it lies between their opportunity costs. Of course, the final TOT will depend on the demand and supply conditions. Now, in this particular example, the domestic price of the country in country A is P1. However, the world's price without trade is P2. Therefore, country A can make a buck by exporting goods to the world. The final price of the good will settle between P1 and P2, for example, at P3. Here, AB of goods is exported, which must equal to distance CD precisely. Country A's export is the world's import. Is a low TAT necessarily bad? Now, in general, this means that each unit of export will now buy less import, and this is very common in LDCs, the reason for which we will explain later. Now, this may well lead to a decrease in the material standard of living, but it's all about the details. A low TOT can be due to many reasons, such as, the, such as the devaluation of the exchange rate, which makes both exports cheaper, but imports dearer as well. Now, this devaluation may enable a country, however, to regain competitiveness and increase the quantity of exports. Now, for example, UK in 1992 benefited from a decline in the terms of trade for this very reason, and China persistently en enjoys low TOT due to its deliberate undervaluation of the UN by the monetary authorities. Both con countries continue to enjoy high growth as quantity demand for exports rise with the lower prices and compensate for the lower terms of trade. However, it is more worrying if the TLT decline is due to structural reasons, such as an oil crisis or peak oil that increases import prices without a corresponding increase in the export volume.